When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. So we got this Facebook message from Cassandra. She said, I'm in need of some advice. I was engaged and now I'm not. LOL. Mm. <laughs> my, ex- <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> my ex has a five-year-old daughter with whom I was absolutely head over heels in love with. Her mom is totally on board with me keeping a relationship with her, and we talk all the time, uh, mom and the daughter. Recently, my ex, whom I no longer speak with, we left on bad terms, has removed all photos from his daughter of us uh, together, which I get. He wants to move on. But he also told her mother he doesn't want me talking to his daughter and feels it's hurting her. Her mother and I have had several conversations about keeping strong women in her life because she needs it, as her father is an alcoholic and a narcissist who barely sees her. I was more of a parent than he ever was in the two years we were together. We also feel that she needs as many positive people in her life because of the remote location of where they live. They live in northern Nevada. Mm. So my question is, should I reach out to my ex and try to explain to him that I have her best interests at heart and that her mom and I feel keeping the relationship in place is good for her and that he needs to accept it, or do I just let it go? Is it worth the fight? I know it's going to start with him. I have some questions. One, so is she wanting, she's not wanting to get back into a relationship with her ex-fiance, right? No, she wants to maintain the relationship, though, with the daughter. With the daughter. Despite the fact that they're not together. And now I'm assuming that the ex-fiance has custody of that daughter, and she is not, like, in the Kentucky area where... Um, you know, uh, our listener could just have that, continue to have that relationship, you know, with the mom around. That's what's not clear. Yeah. I, I, because... guess, that, I guess that would be my, I guess that, that's, that's a, an unanswered question that I have. But if we take, if we assume that they're all able to be within proximity of each other, you, yeah. know, you know, I mean, I guess assuming that. Um, distance isn't going to be a factor here. Uh, she's asking how she gets back or, or, or uh, figures out a way to get the fiance, her ex-fiance on board with having her maintain a relationship in their daughter's life. Yeah, I, that's the thing is I guess it's helping her find the words to explain this to him. But, you know, they're not speaking. So, you know, that's that's the tough part about this whole thing. Now, from a guy's perspective, if I had an ex fiance and we left on bad terms, I I don't I I'm being very selfish and I'm thinking, nope, I'm not I'm not I do not want to do anything that would make you feel any happiness because you hurt me. So I'm going to take away something that uh, you, I guess, love. Well, I, yeah, I don't know. because, And again, the thing is, she said he's a narcissist who barely sees her. So to me, that doesn't sound like he's got custody mm-hmm. if he barely sees her. Mm-hmm. And if the mother is on board with her staying in her life, you know, that's... Well, that's then, a tough thing. Okay, then, then I mean, I would definitely try to go through the mom to convince the ex-fiance. It sounds like they've got a good relationship, right? Exactly. So, if you've been in this situation where you have maintained a relationship with your ex's kid after you are no longer in a relationship with your ex, let us know how you did it. Yeah, that we need some like, how do you navigate that? Yeah. Yeah, and how did you get your ex on board with doing that? 502-795-1997, 795-1997, call or text. All right, group therapy, Cassandra's ex-fiance has a five-year-old daughter that she absolutely loves. However, the ex-fiance is not too keen with her continuing a relationship with the daughter. However, the mom is yeah they've got a friendship and they agree that they want cassandra to still be in this girl's life as like you know a strong example of a woman and uh, you know a friend and that kind of a mentor role Mm -hmm. 
And so we're just kind of wondering, all right, how do you navigate that when she no longer speaks with the ex? Now, a lot of people are pointing out that, you know, maybe you don't need to make him a part of the scenario Mm. and just keep the relationship separate. Um, Elizabeth said there's no reason to reach out to your ex. If you're friends with the mother of that little girl, then just maintain that friendship with the mother of that little girl. As a result of the friendship, you'll see her. Ah, Amy, what do you think? I've got one better than my ex and I having a child together. Okay. Because my ex and I don't have children together. Oh, can Jacob say hello? Can you hold on a second? Yeah. Say hi. 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 Hi, Jacob. (laughs) (laughs) He's so cute. He thinks he's real cool. Uh, Well, he is. So, Jacob, who you just heard from, I fostered when he was eight months old. He returned to his dad when he was 18 months old. I used to get him every other weekend. He moved to Florida. I would fly down there and get him and bring him back up here for a couple months. Um, His dad is no longer in a place where he can take care of him. So he has given me custody of him. Wow. Mm -hmm. So how would you recommend Cassandra approach this? Um, I think she goes through the mom if she has a good relationship with her. Yeah. She wants to stay involved in the kid's life. Um, The worst thing that can happen is she says no, but she will know that she tried to stay in contact with the kid who was a part of her life at some point. Mm, All right. Good thought, Uh, Amy. Thank you. Jenna. Um, My thought is inevitably you have to think about what it is that makes the kids happy. It doesn't matter whether you want to hurt this person or hurt that person or hurt each other. It's in turn, are you hurting the child? Doesn't sound like, though, that he is going to listen to that kind of reasoning. It sounds like. That's what she's tried to tell him before, and now they're not right. speaking. So do we even – here's my – a lot of people are, are suggesting we don't even need to talk to him if the mother of the child is fine with their relationship. It's not like he can control all the female friends that the mother has that brings into their daughter's life, and it could be like oh, that. She's, she's going to be a female friend that's going to be a part of her life. Absolutely. And I mean, and, and as a mother myself, um, I can tell you that there is no one in this world that would tell me to keep someone out of my child's life that made my child happy and protected my child and respected my child. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Yeah. Jenna, thank you. Of course. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Uh, so we did get a, uh, now not everybody is on board with Cassandra's story. Uh, Paul writes in and is like, Hey, this is a hack job on the dad. She had me right until she started saying he was an alcoholic narcissist that didn't spend any time with his daughter. Number one, how did she have such a great relationship with the daughter if he never spent time with her? Number two, this woman spending time with his daughter after they are no longer together would be confusing. And number three, is the ex-fiance and baby mama going to gang up on uh, and and, uh, badmouth him now? Seems likely and detrimental to the daughter. No bueno. So she, he's just suggesting Cassandra walks away and uh, and just kind of walks out of the life of the five-year-old. It's, uh, it's a, well, Lisa a says, though, different. I've been in this situation. She says, Mom rules. Dad brought you into the child's life. The daughter should not be punished for Dad's decisions. Carrying on, uh, carry on maintaining contact through the mom. Mm-hmm. Dad doesn't need to be on board. Mom owes him nothing about who she lets into the child's life. And she said, my ex was a narcissistic alcoholic, too. They use their kids as pawns. Mm -hmm. You deal with them by not dealing with them. I still maintain contact with his daughter through a family friend. I couldn't care less what either of her parents think because neither of them deserve her. All right. Well, there's a lot to chew on with this. I think a majority of the people are thinking, you know what, just can maintain a relationship with the daughter's mom. Yeah, that's the key to this whole scenario, I think, is that she's got a good relationship with the daughter's mom. So, you know, maintain that friendship, that relationship, and that's how you can still be a part of the daughter's life. And, you know, hopefully her ex will clean up his act and, you know, especially for the sake of his daughter. Mm. That's the that's the biggest thing is is her. The the daughter's well-being is really what should be at the center of everybody's um, intentions. For sure. All right. Well, hey, thank you for reaching out. Keep us posted. Uh, That is group therapy.